Great, well we have got our slicer out, it's all ready to go. I've um, pre-frozen the bacon. I said originally for around about 40 minutes, but I think my fridge must be, uh, my freezer must be working a little bit harder. So it's been in for two hours and it's very nice and firm. I'm going to slice it with the uh, skin facing down. Uh, the rind facing down, and uh, we'll we'll get this going. I'm going to take a couple of trial slices first, and then we'll we'll see how we get on. Just adjusting this so that we've got a, a nice slice. Okay, let's go. The reason we freeze the bacon before we slice it is so that it firms up the fat and it prevents a phenomenon known as fat drag. Now this is basically where the soft fat meets the blade and it simply just won't cut. So by freezing it beforehand, the fat firms up, hits the blade, you get really nice clean slices. Okay, so that is our bacon. How beautiful is that? That looks a really nice piece of bacon, doesn't it? Lovely colour on it, beautiful fat, and we've got that nice thin slice. So this is about a millimetre. I'll probably go just a tad thicker and see how we crack on. So let's just wind that back a fraction. The trouble with slices that are too thin is that you end up with uh, bacon that is very, very easy to burn. Um, so we don't want to do that. So let's take a slightly thicker slice. Okay, so that's more like it. There we go. So these will be our slices. You can see from time to time, as I'm taking slices, I'm adjusting the handle so that it helps press the meat against the slicing plate. If you don't do this, sometimes you don't get the full thickness of the slice as you move the meat across the blade. So this is something that I do regularly, and you'll see it whenever you use one of these slices for yourself, but you do need to keep adjusting the handle so that the meat maintains its pressure against the plate. You can see as I take each slice I'm actually picking it from the back of the knife and placing it straight onto the plate. Some people when they slice just allow the meat to fall onto the back end of the slicer this is not something that I like to do. I like to pick each piece of meat off so that I can ensure that we get a nice clean slice. Also, if you've got the slice of bacon in your hand, you can also see if the slices are nice and crisp and clean. It can also help you detect if you're beginning to get fat drunk, which is an indication that the meat might be beginning to thaw out or you may not have frozen it enough in the first place. You can see as I'm slicing the bacon, I'm actually just placing it straight onto a plate. Now, it doesn't really matter uh, what you do here. You can put it straight onto the gold silver boards if you want to, but I'll show you why I don't do that later on in this video. As the slices come off the slicer, they are still frozen and that helps maintain their shape and keep their look as well, which I think is important, especially when you're going to be mounting these onto gold silver food boots at a later stage. Looking down onto the blade, you can see how close the meat has to be in contact with that guide plate before it hits the blade. Right, 
We're not going to worry about the end piece. What we do with these bits are that we'll take the skin off this, we'll dice this, and this will go into a nice pasta dish. Okay. First things first, we're going to make sure that our bacon sits lovely and beautifully on this wonderful gold silver board and uh, I like to make sure that all the bacon is orientated in the correct way. I lay it so I'm covering up the rind of the previous one and the fat so you actually get to see the meat going through the packaging. If you do it the other way, you just get rind and fat showing, which isn't so visually appealing. I mean, you know, it's bacon, it's still lovely, but you know what I mean. There we go. So we'll get one more slice from here. Maybe another one. Okay, that's ready to go straight into a vacuum bag. I've got these textured vacuum bags here. Can be a bit tricky getting them in, so I just like to press that down. I'll try bending the card slightly. It narrows it and it also gives a bit of space for the bacon to go down without curling up at the edges. That's what you want to try and achieve. Bring my vacuum machine in. And there you go. That is what we're trying to achieve. Now these boards are double-sided. They have a silver side as well so if you're doing something and it looks better on a silver side I tend to find red meats if you're doing red meat charcuterie like brassola uh, or copper which has a, a redder color than this uh, although it's a pork it still has a, a redder color they look much better on a silver side so these boards are absolutely fantastic uh, link to them in the description if you're looking for retail pack sizes we do them in three different size boards, 165mm by 165mm, 170mm by 210 and 170mm by 240 Now I'm going to crack on with this um, and uh, we'll get this knocked out. Okay. 